Hey, welcome back. If you are familiar with the channel, you may have seen some of these in the past. Um, but let me try and carefully open this because this is from a retailer. I just want to see if there's some of my contact info inside or not. I think we should be all right. <clears throat> I'll just do this off screen real quick. There we go. All right, you're gonna think I'm a little crazy, but one, two, three, four. Smooth Precision Pens was uh, unfortunately a company that went out of business recently, a few months back. And uh, for anyone that had handled one, you probably feel how I did, which was that that's really a shame. <clears throat> My favorite size is the uh, Mini. You can see how it just fits perfectly in here. And the reason I love smooth precision pens for the Mini is not just because the action's great and it uses the pocket clip, um, but also because uh, when it's the Mini, if you have like a bolt plus the clip, it takes up, you know, like almost half the pen and there's almost nowhere that you can really place it without it being uncomfortable. This one really gives you quite a bit, you know, 270 or so or 180 so degrees, we'll say, of comfort. I found a website out in the EU. Let me see where this came from. <clears throat> this looks like it shipped from, I don't know what it says on here, but Mukama was the website. And it was like, I don't even know about this website, if it's legit or not, but looks like it is because <laughs> here we have four smooth precision pens now these are the large they're not he they're not like that much larger though so for a lot of people with bigger hands you probably would actually like the large more and uh, i was looking for a gift for my brother he just got a promotion at work i was like man i could really uh if i could find smooth precision that would be the one because uh, he just got his first we'll call it a desk job but boss job. <laughs> so he's going to be spending a lot more time behind the desk. Well, the cost to ship these was pretty ridiculous. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a service and I'm going to get these. I'm going to make, take one for myself, give one to my brother and uh, do two for channel viewers. So if you want these, I'll just pass along my cost to you and you'll save the 40 euros in shipping that it costs to get one of these from uh, Mukama, because that is was kind of crazy. But I figured if I buy four of them, that's 10 euros a piece, that gets more reasonable. Um, so if you go on the website, they're showing something like 170 euros plus 40 euros in shipping. It's like 210 euros. That's getting up there. You know, it's $225 or so. Um, however, when you send them to the US, it takes tax off. So you actually end up spending around 160 I spent around 160 bucks per pen in this model it's not cheap but it's a lot better than the alternative so um, I thought this was a pretty good idea again you might think I'm crazy um, but here we have you know a few of these wonderful smooth precision pens brand new in box and again I'll try and make a couple of these available out to the channel one of them is going to go to my brother and what I was really pleased about, because I think I've had one full-sized, but I hadn't had one for a while, and I never had one in this in this finish, is that this actually just feels a lot like the regular one. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, this one's going to end up in my backpack, I think, for work. Is what's going to happen here. And this is going to become my desk pen. I really like this size. This is perfect like a desk pen it's not too long like just to put this in perspective um do i have what do i have here <clears throat> here's a tactile turn which is a pretty well-known brand Let's see i got an extra damascus bolt in there but this is quite a bit bigger um it's thicker i really like the thickness of this it strikes a good balance for me uh, maybe it'd be good to show this turn this way in fact, we'll do that. And then on the very small end, I have an Oz Machine Company pen here. Let me pick, uh, do I have a dark wash one, maybe? Let's see. 
this guy is. There we go. Turn that over clip side. So that'll give you a sense of the sizing on these. There's Tactile, which is probably the most well known for a hundred bucks. You just cannot beat that pen. It's crazy. It is a, a very nice pen for the money. A little hollow feeling is like the one thing and a little thick, but you can get this in a thin also and it's pretty nice. Here is the Smooth Precision Regular and then the Smooth Precision Mini and then the Oz Machine Company it is the smallest. So I'll use that to show the sizes. I guess I can also measure them out. That's probably a good way to help you out here. So uh, tactile, you can get these off the website, of course, but talking five and a half inches here, five and 5.65 almost. The smooth precision, you got about five and a quarter there. The smooth precision mini, talking right around four and a quarter. It's about half an inch shorter. And then the Oz, right about four and a half inches. So yeah, hopefully that's uh, helpful on the sizing. Um, so I gotta decide how to make some of these available out to the channel if you want them. I should have just bought them all. They had six in stock. If you just wanna get one yourself direct from Mukama, there still should be two in stock there. But I thought this was a kind of cool exercise to try and grab a few of these and um, make them available you know, here for the channel. Um, this one, unfortunately, looks like it has a little tear in the box, but not the biggest deal in the world. So, <clears throat> yeah, very excited to put one of these in my brother's hands. I think he's going to really enjoy it. I was sort of torn. Do I want to? I'm a big Oz fan, obviously. Don't want to get him in Oz. I thought about getting him a tactile, but it just wasn't quite what I wanted to get him. Um,. So I think he's really going to like this. This is going to turn out okay. So that's all for now. Uh, if you enjoyed this and want to see more content, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.